Hi there, welcome to Gemstone Tarot Daily Tarot Reading for Friday the 26th of April 2017. All astrological signs and I'm using the Rider Waite Tarot. I'm kind of a little bit back in love with the Rider Waite. Kind of was using it all the time then I sort of drifted off and now I'm back. So let's have a look. Thank you everyone for the likes and the subscribes. I'm up to 3,300 which is cool and also for leaving the comments and talking to each other and talking to me which is really cool I do try and get back to everybody who leaves a comment I think I nearly have so thank you for that and also I'm just about to put out in fact by the time this video is published I think it will have a little tag my week's tarot reading from Saturday 27th that is time stamped for each individual astrological sign so I'll stick that on here so it comes up and you can click on it and go straight to that. Fret hot off the press from today. All right, let's have a look. Ooh, that's a shy card. Let's have you, Mr. Shy card. And that one. Ooh, and you hiding behind. We've got three shy cards today. Let's see what they are. <coughs> wow. Okay, get my cup of tea. <laughs> oh, brilliant, it's a boiling Britain today. We actually seem to be in a little bit of actual summer. It's amazing, it's something we're just not used to. Mind you, I have to give fair warning to the folks of the UK. I have purchased sun cream today. What happens is, you know that film Field of Dreams and there's a tagline that says build it and they will come? It's like a kind of reverse of that. When I buy sun cream, that's the end of the sun every year. Even though I only buy cheap sun cream now, I've bought really cheap sun cream. I'm just giving fair warning to people in the UK and possibly around the world. Could be like the butterfly effect. <laughs> oh, got the Wheel of Fortune. Nice. The Seven of Cups. Another seven, the Seven of Wands. Mm -hmm. Two sevens, two sevens. I'm feeling like putting something in the middle as well in a minute. First of all, we're gonna deal with the Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana in the upright. Good day, serendipity. Things falling into place from all angles, if you see this as a compass in the middle. This is like north, south, east, west, the wheel turning. When this is the right way up, things do plop into place. There is divine guidance at work. You can rely on a little bit of luck. Um, don't push it, but you can rely on a little bit of luck rather than the opposite. When this is in the reverse, it's like the kind of energy where you just miss out on things, you know? Oh, they were just here, but then they left. Or um, you just got to the parking meter, it just ran out. But this is the opposite. This is anything from minor things such as that to the bigger things, things that require this kind of cosmic energy is going the right way. So it's like having the wind behind you. We like. Then we have the Seven of Cups. Hmm. Seven of Cups I call my fantasy future card. If you look at this guy, he is it's like he's in a trophy shop window. Each cup has some spectacular looking prize. A bit like one of those like fairground where you have to grab. In fact, very like that. You know, you get really excited because it looks really good and then the grabber sort of goes onto it and then it just misses and you don't get it and you put more money in and you keep dreaming. That is my Seven of Cups vibe. I think we need to be careful tomorrow. We need to be careful on Friday about fantasizing, to be more realistic. The Seven of Cups, when you try and pluck one of these cups and work with it, it tends to kind of implode. So although we have the Wheel of Fortune, and this will be making us think quite big, or making us mojo rising, thinking big, that's good. But just keep it, keep it real. 
because also with the Seven of Cups, sometimes it's other people promising us fantasy futures, people over-egging the pudding, people bigging things up that then when you say, yeah, okay, I'll take that, suddenly it poofs and it doesn't exist. So just be on your guard. Although it looks like you are, because you have the Seven of Wands. And the Seven of Wands is... It can be seen in a more negative way or more positive way. I'm seeing it positive today with the rest of the cards because I'm seeing this as someone defending their territory, which is literally what this guy is doing. You're going to be able to defend your territory, but without being too aggressive or weird about it. You're just going to be able to put in place what needs to be put in place. Defend your territory against these sorts of people. If it's to do with love, defend your territory against people promising things they're never going to deliver. Just call them out on it. And if it's to do with work, again, decide what's in your future that isn't fantasy, keeping it real, set your goals and then defend it. I like that. I'm going to choose a Wisdom of the Hidden Realms card. I'm also going to choose a love card. Why not? It's a hot sunny day. Why not? What's you? Ooh. Oh, that's gorgeous. Gaia's Garden. Fruition, abundance and reaping what you sow. That's what this is. This is fruition, this is the wheel turning coming to meet you. This is creating abundance and reaping what you sow. This is usually something that you've put in motion a little while ago and now it's actually coming, the, the wind is behind you now. It can even be something that you have put in motion before and it's failed. I know we had this the other day with the reading and I'm getting the same feeling. It's something you made a punt for before Maybe before you were being unrealistic and it's like, shh, it's gone, you know, it didn't work. And you think, what went wrong? Everything looks so promising. But now this time around, the seeds of this, the seeds literally, because this is Gaia's garden, which is like Mother Earth, the seeds were sown a while ago and now it's coming back round. And you're going to be so pleased you are going to want to defend it. But like I said, in a healthy way, I think. I'm going to do a love card. Yes, I am. <laughs> and why not? Ooh. Well, I got three love cards. I'm going to take the three. So those of you thinking about love, why not? Because do you know what? These are absolutely scrumptious cards. <laughs> it's never not quite get. I always get itchy nose when I do tarot reading. Right. Okay. Naughtiness. Look at that. This is literally like having a laugh with someone you fancy or with your other half, with a partner. Anything from having a laugh to being a bit naughty. You know, it's mischief. It's good old fashioned mischief. It's a quite a childlike thing, but it's really quite sexy to do that with somebody. Kind of puts the playfulness back into it. So naughtiness, we also have openness. I love this card. Look at that. This is about, and we had this yesterday as well, didn't we, about vulnerability and not guarding your heart. No matter what, no matter how the situation panned out last time, even if someone promised you all sorts and then didn't deliver, this is a new wheel. The wheel is a wheel. It's a circle. Those things drop off and new things come on. This is a new cycle doesn't have to relate to the old cycle and the patterns can change and this is asking for openness to do with relationships and love. I love this, look at that. The sun shining in and a great, great big heart. Nothing guarded, totally vulnerable. It's a really beautiful thing. And then to cap it all for the third love card, I feel like doing a little mini love fanfare. It's like the best I'm glad I decided to do a little mini adjunct of love reading. It's like the best love reading I think I've done in ages. We have 
Happiness. Look at that. Hearts a go go, two people in a heart. This is a very, very, very nice time to meet somebody, particularly if you've got the bank holiday. I know we have in the UK. We've got bank holiday Monday. Nice sunny weather. If you want to make it out to a beer garden or go to a festival or some kind of outdoor event, you could meet somebody there. But Or if you're already in a relationship, this is lovely energy for having some fun with your partner, playing a few tricks on each other, um, going to a comedy night, getting a comedy DVD, anything like that, pillow fight, you know, whatever kind of tickles you, whatever tickles you. And then remembering just to be open and not being afraid of being open with yourself and with other people. And then just happiness, which we could all do with. That's a lovely reading. So do check out my weekly tarot reading, which is which will be available now. I'm going to upload it literally with this one. And that covers Saturday the 27th to June the 3rd. All astrological signs, timestamps in the description box. So you can just scooch to your sign, then look at your rising sign and your moon sign. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's probably on that side. <laughs> and hit the little bell and if you want a private reading you can book me in the paypal link in the description box okay see you soon bye